All right, and this one, I'm looking just a wash line like this on a place where I found artifacts. Down to the, my left here is the main part of the site. And I found an artifact up here that's different than what's on the main part of the site. So this new area that's washed out in this video is a new place for me to look. And I've looked here for about an hour and a half in this video. And these are all the flakes that I found, just a few. But that's evidence of Indians up here from the manufacturer of ancient artifacts. There's a nice piece of black and that's typical of Amos points. There's probably Amos points right here around me that I'm gonna find in the future. There's a knife, there's a couple more little flakes, but an arrowhead laying out in this. You have to be very slow. I'm still looking this going out. Just take your time and look at everything. You might find some nice stuff like in this video. Thanks for watching. All right, this is a site I haven't found anything for about 10 years. Pre-YouTube, I was finding. Like, right before YouTube, it got ruined. And like, I don't know, a year before I started doing YouTube videos, I mean, I found a drill here and Amos Points and Kirk's, like Charleston Corner Notch type looking stuff. Just real good stuff. And it's washing out again. A little bit. I'm finding traces of artifacts. I'm here again. I've already got some finds saved up from the past few days. The water moved and come back down, but see what happened. See all this big rock? None of this was here. They pushed a bunch of dirt over this and it really screwed it up. But there could be anything here at any time that's real nice. I found some flint tools and stuff and you'll see that and I'm hoping to just see a smoker laying out eventually. Later. See this? There's an Indian site here for sure, but this is evidence of it right here. All this stuff in here is nonsense. Just this is not nonsense. That's fired ancient rock. And then you can see more of it here. You have to be able to identify this here here. It's coming out of the bank from a campfire that was right here. Man, all that's here is old stuff. So probably eight thousand. When did you see it? You see, I saw this. It slipped down the base clay. You can see there's the base clay. It's coming down, and there's little pockets of stuff. And I've never found many flakes of flint here. I'd just come here and just find a smoker point laying out, and maybe a flake walking like I don't know, two hundred yards. Right here, I saw this. It's all you can see. It's pecked out. Flip it over. Look at that, nutting stone. I mean, this one's like it's been drilled with a fire spindle or something. Look at it. Just little punches all the way, and that's Indian. Right out of the middle of a campsite here. Well, I'm way north on this site, and I'm picking up. See, this, this is a river cobble chert. It's been manipulated. It's been broken open by human hands. There's working on it here. This, an Indian's had this. And I found a little bit of stuff clear up here. I'm a mile off of where I was at back down there. And do you see this? And this isn't, I don't know what this is. It's not a typical find for me, but I got a point laying flat out here. Right here on this beach. You see it now? It didn't look bad, it's right here. Huh. That is super. It's a Dina like or something and it looks like it's Flint Ridge. Oh, it's beautiful. Just absolutely stunning material. That's a nice point. But I'll have to look at this. This might not be a Dina. This might be some kind of archaic stem point, but that's a heck of a nice find here. I look around. Man, didn't expect this. See, this has never been washed out clear up in here. There was feet of mud on it. Now there's a gravel layer. This is okay. A little bit of a different find. That's nice. Later. Well, here's this point. Nice material. Nice workmanship. Kind of has a bevel here. Nice tip. Looks kind of a Dean-ish, but that cross section and the chipping and stuff, I'd say it's something like these Mara Mountain points. Like some kind of mid or cake type deal. You can see this big one here on the right looks a lot like it. Um, 
I'd say it's something our Cape Cultural Prairie, but that's crazy the upper end of that site washed out and there's Amos points on the lower end and now this kind of stuff. I'll have to keep going back and we'll have to get a cross section, see if some more points come out like this, kind of get an idea of what we got. But that's pretty nice, huh, for laying out later. All right, I'm getting up out here. Instead of putting the clips of the first series of items I found here a few days ago, it's been four or five days ago, I'll just show them to you at the end. It's just a scraper in another little piece. Um, I got a, a nutting stone I found too. If I can find the clips and they look good enough, maybe I'll show them, I don't know, but I'm getting out of here. Well, this stuff here is from the first trip I went to the place I found the point there, the Morro Mountain thing in the previous clips. I found this nutting stone, which it's nice. There's a hole on every face. It's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice one. You can really see all the working marks in every hole. See, it almost looks like they're scratched in. See the scratch lines down it? That's pretty interesting. This is a pretty nice piece. But I also found this stuff. And I find Amos points there. And this is a typical Amos point looking knife type thing. It's got like working there and both edges. It's like a flake tool, you can see it. Um, and this little knife. It's just a crude one, but it's a curved type knife that they were that has use on it. So this stuff and I also found a pretty nice top water bait there. That's pretty nice. That's probably at least a ten dollar lure. That's real nice. It's like to look like a bird. But um I will get back and I'll keep going there. There's great potential there. Later. And I'm showing you, showing you this stuff and my number one friend is out here with me. Look here. Hi oh, buddy. Hi oh, buddy. Somebody just come out of his heated box to come down and see me. Huh? Hi oh, buddy. Hi oh, buddy. I like you too. See you folks. All right, there's the point down there at the bottom I found in this video. I'll have to start another frame, but here's the last frame I was working on. I think my favorite point is that Lance point there made of Upper Mercer. But a lot of that Amos stuff's nice too. There's a lot of good finds here. That hoopla I found in the woods is pretty decent. But pretty cool, starting another frame. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it.